So in this video, we're going to create a page that allows users to reset their passwords. This isn't going to be a forgotten password tutorial. It's one where if the user's already logged in, they can change their password by entering their old one first. So let's get started. So what we want to do is go to our text editor and we want to create a new page. And we're going to call our page change password. And we're going to copy what we have on our index page and just paste it on our change password page because we need to have our database class and we need to be able to tell if the user's logged in or not. So if the user's not logged in, we're just going to echo not logged in. But if they are logged in, we're going to actually display the form and allow them to change their password. But rather than echoing not logged in, we're going to say die just to kill the entire page. And then down here, what we'll do is create a simple form. So there we've created our simple form and there we can see there's our form there. So the first thing we want to do is get the user's current password that they type in and we want to compare that against the current password we have stored for the user in the database. So if I go to the database, we want to compare this value with whatever is entered into this text box. So the first thing we'll do is check that the form was submitted. And now that we know the form has been submitted, we're going to check the value in old password with the value that we have stored for the user in the database. But we've already done that on our login page. We already verify what the user enters into the text box with the password we have stored. So we're going to copy and paste this line because it already does what we want. So we need to create the variable password and we should probably rename it to old password. And we need to modify our query because what we're doing is checking where the username is equal to whatever the user entered, but the user doesn't provide us with a username when they're changing their password. But we do have the user ID because it's returned from the is logged in function. So we're going to say where ID equals user ID. And then here we'll say user ID and we will pass it user ID. And we'll set the user ID variable equal to login is logged in. And that will be the user ID. So now that we've verified the user has put in the correct old password, we can change their password. And then what we're going to say, otherwise, if the password's entered incorrectly, we'll echo incorrect old password. So let's just run this to see does it work. So the password for this account is test pass. So if I put in test pass and I click change password, we should get nothing. But if I put in anything else, you see it says incorrect old password. So now we've checked that their current password is correct, we're going to allow them to type in a new password. And before we do that, we need to just grab the values from those text boxes. And we want to go to our create account page. And you can see we put in validation for the password to ensure that it's between six characters and 60 characters long. So we're going to copy and paste that. But before we use that, the first thing we need to know is does the new password match the password repeat? Because the whole point of having the password entered twice is to make sure that it's correct. So what we can do is check that first. So we're saying does the new password equal the repeated version of it? And if it does, then we can continue changing the user's password. Otherwise, we need to tell them that the passwords don't match. So now that we know the two passwords are the same, we only need to check one of them because our validation only needs to apply to one password because we already know they're the same. So I can apply the validation only to new password and I can forget about new password repeat because I already know they're the same. So I paste that in there. We're checking the length of the new password and the length of the new password again. And so long as it's within the specified length, we should be okay to accept that password because we don't need to worry about SQL injection or anything like that because the user's password is hashed and stored in the database. And we're also using prepared statements. So we never actually store the values the user puts in into the database. So now we should be okay to actually change the user's password. So all we have to do is run a query. And then here, once again, when we're putting in the new password, we want to go to our create account page. And where we're inserting the user, we want to use the password hash function to hash the value. And then we'll just say password changed successfully. So let's just test this. So the old password is test pass. And the new password is just going to be password. We're going to click change password. It says password changed successfully. And now I'm going to log out. 
But before you log out, we can actually just compare the values in the database now. If we go back to here, you can see the password field is equal to this. This is the password before I changed it. But if I refresh this, you can see that's just changed the values completely different. So now if I log out, it says I'm logged out. We're not actually redirecting the user. But if I go back to the table and I go to the login tokens, you can see there isn't any login tokens. So I'm not logged in anymore. And if I was to refresh this, I'm not logged in and uh, we can actually check our change password page you can see if i'm not logged in i also get told that so what i'm going to do is log in using the old password first so i've just entered test pass i'm going to click login you can see it now says incorrect password if i try to log in again and i use the new password which is password and i click login it says logged in and if i go to the index page we're now logged in. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favor, and subscribe. In this video, we covered changing the user's password. That's quite different from resetting a user's password, which we'll cover in another video. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favor, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you next time.